Last year, Apple introduced Emergency SOS, which allows the iPhone 14 to connect to satellites for emergency calls and texts. Now, Qualcomm has unveiled its own satellite communication feature. It's called Snapdragon Satellite, and it will be arriving on some Android phones later this year. With Snapdragon Satellite, Android phones with Qualcomm's latest X70 modem will be able to connect to satellites in order to send messages without a cellular signal. And unlike Apple's emergency SOS, Snapdragon Satellite is meant for both emergency and non-emergency situations. To make this possible, Qualcomm partnered with satellite phone maker Iridium. This means that phones with Qualcomm's X70 modems that also use Qualcomm's SOC will be able to connect to Iridium satellites in order to send emergency and person-to-person -person messages. Exactly how this will look and work will depend a lot on individual phone manufacturers. But we got a look at a demo version of the technology, which gives us a pretty good idea of how these new messaging features can be used. Once enabled, an on-screen message will show you the direction to point your phone in order to connect with a satellite. Like with Apple's emergency SOS, you'll need to be outside with a clear view of the sky in order to connect. In the demo we saw, you could only message a predetermined list of contacts. But Qualcomm says phone makers will have a lot of flexibility in terms of how they enable person-to-person -person messages. So it could easily end up looking a lot more like a traditional messaging app. However, there are some limits compared with typical messaging apps. Satellite messages are more like old school SMS messages with a limit of 140 bytes or about 160 characters. So while you should be able to get a decent amount of text in, you won't be able to send any photos or videos. But actually sending the message should only take about 10 seconds or less, depending on your location. For non-emergency scenarios, there will likely be additional fees associated with satellite messaging, but it could still be pretty useful if you know you have a way to communicate even if you're way off grid. For true emergencies, Qualcomm has partnered with Garmin, which makes its own emergency satellite communication device called InReach. Emergency messages sent with Snapdragon satellite will direct to the same team that handles SOS calls from InReach devices. That's different from Apple's emergency features, which allows for actual voice calls when you're in distress. But Qualcomm's partnership with Garmin should still allow you to reach emergency responders relatively quickly. Unfortunately, we didn't get a lot of detail about when we'll actually see Android phones with these satellite capabilities. Qualcomm says it anticipates having several phones on the market in the second half of 2023. And while there are X70 equipped phones expected in the first half of the year, those devices aren't expected to have satellite capabilities. So it could still be several more months before Snapdragon Satellite is readily available. As always, follow Engadget for more news from CES 2023.